Hello, and thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. I'm going to be doing the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not, especially since this is a general reading. All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. And we have the Two of Wands. We have the Hierophant, which can represent Taurus. We have the Emperor, which can be Aries. And we have the Hanging Man, which is my favorite card in the deck. And then we have Temperance, which can be Sagittarius. So we have a lot of people surrounding you. We have the Ace of Wands. And we have the King of Swords. For overall energy, we have the Six of Pentacles. Stacking things in your favor. So what you may be struggling with is the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Two of Wands. I feel like the readings that I've done lately for Capricorn are that you're trying to make things happen. Is that you're trying to... You're trying to be happy. You're trying to be in a better place. You're trying to surround yourself with supportive people. I feel that you're trying to make a difference. Like I've said many times before that I've been doing Capricorn readings for probably five or six years. And I always feel that this time of the year is good for Capricorn because I feel like they're really trying to push and to close the year out on a positive note. That they're trying to... Maybe they were a little slow in the beginning and, you know, maybe there were things happening, but I always feel like at the end of the year is when Capricorn is really trying their hardest to push through, especially with the new year coming and birthdays coming and that you want to start off those new beginnings on the best note possible. And I feel like you're, you're trying to, with this Ten of Pentacles, it's like doing it one step at a time. And I feel like you're trying to do that. Like you're trying to make this effort. You're trying to open up doors. and But I just feel like there's this frustration that's going on with you. That there's this, you feel like you're having an uphill battle. You feel like things just aren't happening for you. And that you're not really getting the results that you wanted. And I feel like you may be tested to where you're going back into old habits and that you feel like you just can't get these doors opened. I feel that there's, I definitely feel a sense of frustration going on there. And definitely that's understandable is because when you feel like you're trying and trying and trying and you feel like you're not getting the results or you feel like things aren't happening, that you're almost like, why should I even bother? And that you feel like you just want to give up. And I definitely know that feeling of the Capricorn sun and the Capricorn rising. And I've definitely felt the same way. It just seems like I try and try and try. And then it seems like nothing's happening. But really, if I take that time to look back and say, okay, where was I six months ago? And where was I a year ago? I really feel like I've grown so much and that I've come a long way. And then that I've opened doors for myself. Sometimes it's almost about my favorite card where it's looking at things from a different perspective like I was just talking about is that if I look from where was I six months ago to where I was where was I a year ago definitely I'm in a better place definitely I feel so much happier I feel like I've grown a lot I feel like I've opened doors for myself for opportunities to get myself in a better place and I've done a lot of things so the advice from the tarot is Again, the Hierophant is having that faith and belief in yourself and know that sometimes we can't, it's like the littlest changes that we can't even see are happening. And it's not until we step back and we see the big picture. And like I was saying earlier, is looking back and saying, okay, where was I six months ago? Where were you two years ago? Where were you five years ago? Where were you a year ago? And kind of looking at things from a different perspective is that really opens up the doors to say, okay, you know what? I have changed. I have done, I have set boundaries. I I do feel that I'm more in control with this emperor here. Um, I feel like the advice from the tarot is, is you're really probably more in control than what you realize. And sometimes it's like, well, in order to feel like we're getting results, it has to be a certain way. 
but sometimes like the results are in a different way just like with this hangman here is like sometimes the results are the things that we've done or what we've grown from and how we've changed is really in a different way um an example was yesterday when i was at the grocery store there was a little bit of an incident I had asked someone for their ID and they said they didn't have it. Supposedly it was in their car, but oh no, their grandmother has it and all of these things. And I said that I couldn't sell them the alcohol. And so they started to pitch a fit. And so they went to customer service and then they got the manager out and the manager said the same thing that I had said that, you know, if I, you know, asked for an ID, you have to have the ID. And I was so proud of myself because I didn't cry, I didn't break down, I didn't get angry, I didn't get frustrated, and I knew that I was doing the right thing. I felt comfortable with what I was doing, and I was able to handle that difficult customer without letting that person's negativity get to, to me, without letting that person ruin my day, because before that, used, that would have happened. And that's what I've learned a lot by working at this grocery store, is that it's really helped me be, become, be able to really let what other people have to say, to let that slide, to let that go by, that those people are having their own issues that they're doing, they're having their own problems and their negative energy is coming towards me and that I don't need to absorb that, that it has nothing to do with me. And that's definitely, I definitely have built a thicker skin working at this grocery store. And I'm really, happy for the experience because I feel that I grow so much personally there and I you know definitely when I started this YouTube channel I was so afraid of negative comments and people saying negative things that it, it almost paralyzed me to not do it and I've definitely heard in groups that I've been that other people are afraid of the same thing and it's a hard thing to have to deal with because definitely people feel more empowered when they're behind a computer and they can say mean things because they don't have to be held accountable for it. But I feel like it's, again, with perspective and just saying, well, that person's going through something or that person feels that they're lacking something in their life and so they have to lash out on others and to not take it personally. And I feel like, it's this personal growth thing that you're going through that there may be changes that are happening for you that you don't really see that. Like you're looking in one area, but really you're growing and learning in another area. You know, that you're, and to keep the faith and to, and to keep believing in yourself and keep, keep trusting that you're on the right path. And then if you're feeling frustrated to look at things from a different perspective, sometimes you just have to turn things around and say, you know, how can I look at this differently? Because I know that I've really gained, you know, that I feel that I'm in a better place. Yes, maybe you've gone through a lot of challenges and you've had a lot of things happen, but that's helping you to learn. That's helping you to grow. That's helping you to realize things. Future energy is coming in. We have temperance. We have the Ace of Wands and we have the Knight of King of Swords. And I feel like it's really about, again, going back to the hangman where you're thinking about things from a different perspective. You're seeing things different. It's, you're having, you're feeling more balanced. You're feeling patient. You're feeling free. I love the way she looks in that picture because she looks so free and she looks so light and she looks so like carefree. And with this Ace of Wands, it's like feeling fiery and feeling passionate and feeling like, let's keep going, don't give up. And I feel that that's, that's probably like the hardest thing is definitely if you feel like, well, I want to have these results and they're not happening. And then you feel like you want to give up and you feel like, why should I even bother? And I've definitely been there. I, w I was there this morning, you know, I mean, I have some things that I would like to come into my life and they haven't come in. And I feel like I've really been trying to work on that. And I've been trying to manifest that. And I've been trying to bring those things in and I feel like they're just not happening, but you know, maybe like I sometimes I feel like I want to give up but it's like no like I feel so good and I feel that I'm in a good place and sometimes you know people or situations can trigger you definitely working at the grocery store for me it's mentally exhausting with all of these people that come through and all of their energy it's definitely tiring for me um but I'm also showing myself how strong I am and it's it's like don't give up don't give up. If you feel that you're on the right path, if you feel like you're bringing things into your life or you're making changes in your life or that you're, 
you know, having more good days than bad days. If you feel like you're on that path, don't give up on that path because you don't see the results that you feel that you are not getting. I just feel like that's the biggest thing. And that's what I always tell myself too, is like, don't give up. Like you've come so far. Don't, I, and I don't want to go back to old ways. I don't want to go back to the way I was. That was definitely not happy. Like that was, that was very sad and very depressing. And I, I don't want to go back to that. I'm, I'm in the happiest place I've been in my life. And I'm still, you know, I still have so many things that I want to bring in, but you know, I'm happy where I am. I'm happy with how much I've grown. I'm, I'm happy you know, for all of my personal growth, and I wouldn't change that for anything. So I don't want to give up on that journey just because I feel like I haven't got the rewards or things haven't happened for me that I feel that should have happened by now. Um, let's grab, oh, we got Animal Oracle. We got two of them. We have Otter Spirit, You Are Never Alone, and Owl Spirit. I love this one. This is one of my favorites from this deck. She looks, the owl looks so cute. You see clearly now. So I feel like it's having that love for yourself because the otter spirit is kind of shaped like a heart and the owl spirit is like you see clearly now that you see clearly that yes, like stay driven, stay focused with that emperor energy and that hierophant energy. Like the advice from the tarot is three major cards. We have the hierophant, the emperor and the hanging man. So that's a strong message to stay strong, keep going. That if you're feeling frustrated, try and look at it from a different position. Try and look at it from a different way. Try to see things from a different set of eyes. Try and step back and, and really say and look at, you know, how much growth you've actually had. We have number 42 and we have number 43. And I feel like that's kind of progression there too. Um, I also feel that if, if you're seeing double fours, that that may be a sign because Fours represent um, progression and change and it's like changes are coming in and that you're making progress and, and it's like those building blocks that you're putting together and, and four, I just feel like if, you, if you're seeing fours, I feel like it's, it's don't give up on that. Um, also, the emperor is number four. That's right above there. Um, so I, I feel like there's definitely some fours going on here. Um, I'm just kind of looking we have two we have three we have the fours we have five we have um we have one so one two three um four five so definitely like you're on that path like you're you're making that progress and if it's not the way that you, you think it should be, I just feel like it's it's try and see it from a different perspective um, and seeing clearly that sometimes progress, it, it goes and it happens in a different way than what you're thinking and it happens at a different time than what you're thinking. Um, so let's grab a star dragon. Like end the year on a positive note, right? And start your year on an amazing note and don't get frustrated with things. We have independence, carving your own path, and transcendence, achieving a success. Achieving success on your own path, in your own way. Yes, it can be frustrating when we see other people that they have things that we want, or we, their success is, is quicker, or they're able to achieve things quicker than what we can. And definitely that can feel frustrating. And and and, But what you have to realize, again, with that hanging man, is that it's carving your own path and achieving success on your path, in your way, in your time, in your, in your journey. And sometimes that's hard to kind of see it from that perspective. And definitely that can be frustrating and, and I understand that. But again, hang man, seeing things from a different perspective. Balancing things out. We didn't go over this one, which was overall energy, which was the six of pentacles and 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 balancing things tipping the scale in your favor right looking at things that are in your plus column a lot of times when we get frustrated we get tired we're just looking at things that are in our minus column and we feel like that's a lot that's more than what we have in our plus column but i feel like it's looking at the things that you have in your plus column um, tipping the scales in your favor and say, oh, I'm so proud of myself for achieving this or accomplishing that or not getting irritated with this person or setting boundaries with that person or, 
you know, whatever those things are that you have been achieving. We have meditation. Take that time to be by yourself and to clear your mind and to clear your energy. I do feel that that helps to give you clarity, which is connected to the UC Clearly now, is when you have when you don't have all of that noise of things and chatter around you, that when you have that quiet time, wherever that may be that you like to go, to have that quiet time and to think clearly. It doesn't necessarily, I don't feel like it necessarily has to be actual meditation. I just feel like it's having that quiet time. Even just for me, it's just driving home in the car from work. Like I'm able to, like yesterday from work, I was like, I'm, I told myself multiple times, I was like, I'm so proud of myself for making it through the day and getting through that situation. And, you know, <clears throat> while I was there um, in the morning, my mom had texted me and, you know, she's a narcissist and it's just like, I was like, oh no, I'm like, I don't want to deal with that. And so that had kind of stressed me, but I was able to talk to my sister on my break time and work through that. And so then this happened with this person in the ID. And I just really felt like I was being challenged yesterday. And on my drive home, you know, I had the music down low and I was just like, I'm so proud of myself for making it through my day and not letting those things get to me and staying positive and, you know, giving, a, you know, best customer service that I can and staying positive and, you know, I, I've just, it's those little things that you have to remind yourself of all those positive little things that you've done for yourself. Like, don't forget about those things. Those are the things that add up. And again, like I was saying, just that quiet time in the car, it's like a 20 or 30 minute ride. And it's just nice. I had the windows open. It was a beautiful day out. I had the music down low and I was just like, you know, grateful for the day that it was over and grateful for myself that I got through the day and just really having that time to really focus on myself and to decompress and just be proud of myself for the day. So again, it doesn't have to be like you have to, you know, even like I said, you could just do it in the car, just have that quiet time in the car and maybe turning that music down and just, you know, thinking about things, processing things, reminding yourself of all the positive things that you've done. Um, and, and take, I feel like the more that you, you start to get yourself in the habit of reminding yourself of all of the positive things that you're doing and taking that time for that gratitude. Um, like I've said before, always, you know, having that, that gratitude and taking that time instead of always going on social media or, or, you know, just having all of this chatter going on in your head, spending more time within yourself and, and reminding yourself of all the achievements and all of the things that you have going on in your plus column. I'm <laughs> like all the, the light, the sun's right there. So I tried to close the blind, but it's still kind of shining through. So I kind of have light spots on me. <laughs> we have seven of wands and it's stand your ground. And I just feel like that's putting your arm up in the air and just feeling really proud of yourself and really standing your ground and saying, I'm not going to fall into the negativity. I'm not going to fall into old patterns. I'm not going to let people bother me. I'm not going to get into my head and have that negativity get in my head. I'm not going to do that and stand your ground and say, I deserve better, right? I have a lot of things going on in my plus column and those are the things that I want to focus on. Let's uh, grab this one. Go to the sea. I always feel like with this one, it's about releasing and letting go. This one's, I feel, been coming out a lot for Capricorn lately. And I feel like there are some things that you need to release, that you need to let go of. It's okay to do that. Again, it's about having that alone time to feel like if you want to cry it out, if you want to be angry, if you want to be frustrated, if you want to journal, if you want to write things down, if you want to just have quiet time and just think about things, like take that time to process, process those feelings. That's so important because if you sweep those under the rug and you just ignore those and those start to build up, those are going to just, sometimes you can't even control it and they'll just start coming out. And I just feel that it's better to be able to process those and let those go rather than have those fester. And I feel like that just creates such a problem if you, if it's, it just, it's such a big buildup, I feel like over time. 
you know, sometimes we can't process things right away. Just like yesterday, I couldn't process. I've, I've still been trying to process, you know, my mom having um, contacted me. So I'm still working through that. But I'm taking as much time as I need. I'm taking as much time as I need to process that situation. And when I'm ready, I'll contact her and I'll reach out. And that's okay. I'm doing it at my, sp my speed. I'm doing it at my time. I'm doing it at what works best for me. Because I was always used to immediately responding and immediately being there and just disregarding how I was feeling or disregarding what I was going through. And I always felt this, you know, that's kind of what, you know, from growing up, it was just like you had to respond immediately. It doesn't matter. What I was doing was not important. It was important to always answer to my father immediately um, or, um, you know, like... I, I always like answered to my mother and it was just like, okay, no, like I'm tired of that. Like I'm going to do it at the time when I'm ready to do it. Um, I remember this one time I was just thinking about this. I was in my early twenties and, um, I was, um, I was living a couple States away and I was, I was with my, um, I don't know if he was my fiance. It wasn't my husband. Um, but we were moving into different apartments and it was moving day and my father's father had passed away that day and my father wanted me to come home. So it was like a couple hour drive to get back to the house. Um, and, but I said I was moving, like I, I'm in the middle of moving. Like I can't just leave my boyfriend or fiance, whatever he was at the time. I just can't have him do everything like I'm I'm this is moving day like I'm sorry that that happened I will be there as soon as I can I mean there wasn't even anything that I that I could do right and so then I had helped him move and then it was like later that day or that night that I had got there and my father was like so angry at me because I wasn't there and I was like and all I did was sit around the house and we didn't do anything for a couple days and I was like, why did I immediately have to be there if there's nothing that I could do? And it's not like you and I talk. And it's like, he just wanted me in the house. Like he didn't want to talk to me. He didn't want me around. He just wanted to know that I was in the house. And I was like, I was moving. Like I had other important things, but you know, at that particular time I did wait, but I did end up going. But I was just like, you know, sometimes it's just like, you have to do it on your own time schedule. And if people get upset, then people get upset and that people can, you know, especially narcissists, it's all about them. It doesn't, they don't care how you feel. And that's what you have to realize. And that's what I've been realizing over the years is that they don't realize, they don't, they don't care how you feel. They only care about themselves. They only care about them feeling comfortable and them it doesn't matter like what you have going on. So I mean, that's just what I'm finding. I'm not a doctor or a therapist, but that's what I'm just realizing. And that's what I've been processing over the years is, is realizing those things. And that, you know, definitely I've, I've dated some people that were the exact same way and that they didn't, they didn't care about me. Um, and they just wanted themselves to be happy and, you know, definitely learning lesson <laughs> took me a while to figure that out, but I was like, ah, oh, but that's what I was used to, right? That's what I grew up with, with nar was narcissistic parents. And I thought, you know, that's the way things were supposed to be. And now I'm realizing, no, it's going to be on my terms now. It's going to be the way I want it to be. And if you don't want to be around, then don't be around. And that's okay. And that's what you have to realize. And that's your independence and carving your own path and achieving success. And what does that represent to you? And doing it at your own pace and not worrying about what other people have to say or you know, letting their negative energy affect you and take that time to reward yourself for all of these accomplishments that you're making um, and reward yourself for that. And, you know, sometimes those doors may not open right now, but they're going to open later and believing in yourself and staying on your path and standing your ground and not giving up on you. Your biggest support system is you, is yourself. And you're on your journey and don't shortchange yourself. Don't settle for less. <laughs> All right, we have Lazulite. So we have a crystal here. Cosmic serenity and peace. 
The cosmic forces are at play with lazulite, bringing serenity, peace, and tranquility to anyone who crosses path with a stone. It comes from the Arabic word lazaward, meaning sky or heaven, and referring to the sky blue color of the stone surface. It stimulates the third eye, drawing out psychic and intuitive abilities and dispelling worry, anxiety, and stress to promote a clear state of mind. I love it. We have the owl spirit, so you see clearly now. Use this crystal when you need extra strength to heal addictive habits and to give yourself that inner peace against personal demons. I love it because that's exactly what I was saying. I love that this crystal came out. It's the perfect crystal. And it's about giving yourself a clear state of mind on your path and your journey and staying true to yourself. And sometimes we need that extra strength because it's to heal addict, addict, addictive habits, which I always had the habit to where I always had to cater to my parents or other people, narcissists. I just attracted those because that's what I was used to. And I was always catering to those other people, you know, definitely a people pleaser and being a people pleaser is part of getting caught in that narcissistic web where you're always trying to please that narcissist and you're always trying to make that person happy at the loss of yourself. And that was a habit of mine is always answering and always immediately responding. And it was a, it was like, sometimes like if I'm free, then that's one thing. But if I'm busy or if I'm not in the mental state to deal with it, then I'm not going to deal with it. Um, and give yourself that inner peace against those personal demons, realizing what those personal demons are, realizing those things that you're doing, you, you know, where you're working against yourself and you're sabotaging yourself, because I've definitely been doing that for so many years, realizing those habits and saying, I've got to stop that. I, I've got to control that, and I've got to stop that. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. Um, peace and tranquility within yourself. And I feel like that's going to the sea and releasing those energies. Kind of these are the same color and having that meditation, that quiet time. Sometimes it can be really scary having that quiet time because you're like, I don't know what's going to bubble up and I don't know what's going to happen. But realizing that if something does bubble up and something does happen, then that's something that you have to process and that's something that you have to work through. And it's okay and work through that whichever way you feel best is for you. Of course, again, you have to do what you feel is right for you. I'm not telling you what you need to do. I'm not a doctor or a therapist, but just from my own personal experience is that when I'm able to process those thoughts and those feelings and that sense of lack or that sadness, I feel so much better. Um, and I'm able to clear the way to start, keep focusing on my positive journey. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you're still hanging in there with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing day. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.